Did you know that the most venomous animal on earth is not a snake, spider or scorpion, but a frog? Meet the Dendrobatidae family, commonly known as poison dart frogs. Indigenous tribes skillfully use their secreted poison for hunting. That's right, the Dendrobatidae or poison dart frog holds this fascinating and deadly secret. The life cycle of a poison dart frog is as intriguing as its deadly secret. It all begins with an egg, delicately laid amidst the leaf litter of a dense tropical rainforest. It's here where a fascinating journey unfolds, a journey from a tiny egg to a vibrant, lethal creature. The mother frog, embodying an unusual level of parental care for an amphibian, painstakingly carries her offspring on her back. The destination? A bromeliad, a tropical plant filled with just enough water to provide a nurturing environment for the next stage of life. As a tadpole, the little creature embarks on a transformative journey, slowly morphing from a meek aquatic being into an adult frog. This metamorphosis is a testament to the wonder of nature, revealing the remarkable adaptability of these tiny beings. And so, against all odds, the tiny tadpole grows into one of the most toxic creatures on the planet. The habits of the poison dart frog are unlike any other. Active during the day, they scour for food, primarily feasting on ants and beetles. These unsuspecting meals lend to their deadly attribute, their poison. Yes, the vibrant colors that make them so mesmerizing are not for show, but are a warning to predators of the lethal poison they carry. A fascinating adaptation, their diet directly influences their toxicity. Thus, the poison dart frog lives a life as vibrant and deadly as its skin. As we journeyed through the life of a poison dart frog, we discovered many fascinating facts. We've delved into the lethal poison of the Dendrobatidae, their distinctive life cycle, and their intriguing habits. In the end, the Dendrobatidae is not just a frog, but a testament to nature's ability to surprise, adapt, and even intimidate.